Today, I'll be opening up a $50 comic book mystery box from Comic Foo. Stick around. DJ Links is in the building. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Links. Back in the DJ building, back Link. in effect, and back with another video. And today, I have a $50 comic book mystery box from Comic Foo. Pick this up on Instagram. Before we get into the mystery box, I just wanted to remind everyone that we're doing that giveaway for that Hot Toys Darth Vader figure and that giveaway is open up until May 4th, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go check out my announcement video giveaway details or whatever I called it just so that you get the rules and how you can enter. Boom, look out for that now. Let's crack this bad boy open. I got this uh, off uh, Comic Fool on IG. I'm not sure if he has... Uh, a YouTube presence but I saw these one up I think somebody tagged me and I was just like yo uh, okay I'll, I'll grab one of those I never gra got a box from him before and I'm trying to get boxes from people I haven't bought from before I'm trying to switch it up you know what I mean I uh, don't want to keep going back to the same wells the hell is this it's a keychain Fuminati <laughs> So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. I might have to get all the way in front of the camera for this bad boy. I tried. I tried. <laughs> it didn't work. So got a cool little keychain. And then what the hell is this? Mystery Men fights Stevie versus Squatchy. Add your own stupid word bubble zingers. Village of Idiots. This is dope. Stevie B Comics and Squatchy Inc. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty funny. That's hilarious. Cool. I guess I have to add some thought bubbles. I'm excited to open this. Um, yeah, I get like OD excited. Whenever I, whenever I hit the bell ring, I'm like, you know, the thing. I'm like a dog that just that hears a bell and thinks he's going to get a treat. That's how I am when the doorbell rings and it's the male person. Oh, we have another another um keychain approved by the squatch clan elders i don't know if you're gonna see this and i'm not going in front of the camera again like before but let's see i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but it says approved by the squatch clan elders <laughs> yeah for some reason well let me not even say that because that's it's gonna be super pause worthy but whatever so here here are the uh let me just here are the books in a Ziploc bag. This is not the kind of green I'm used to in a Ziploc. <laughs> uh, but let's take that out. Boom. That's actually pretty dope. It's a pretty unique way to send some comics. Nice. Ah, all right. So there's a list. Well, I'm assuming it's a list of what, what these are because I saw words. All right, let me just, okay, that's pretty cool. And just a back board. Yeah, this is, this is hilarious. Um, what is, this is. <laughs> what? Okay. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. Just, I, I don't know where to start. All right, hold on. Alright, those are there. I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So this I, I thought it was gonna be like what what was in the packaging. Um I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but it looks like it's a list of everybody that's down with uh you know comic foo, squatchy comics, comic vintage, warlord. So I'm an idiot. I guess the name just escaped me. They have a monster YouTube presence. Alright, so let me just switch these. Here we go. Boom. Stop. This is the new comic squad. Wait a minute. Did I just read this and then show it to you like I didn't read it? I don't know. So this is, uh, it looks like a printout of some original art. I win 10 twigs. Never again. Squatchy ink. It's pretty cool. What do we have? 
dope. Looks like an original, is this a, this is a print or an original piece of art? Oh no, it's a print. That's pretty cool. No, the tape got on it. Hold up, I don't want to do a Taylor Wind there and rip off Doctor Strange's crotch. No, because then if I leave it there, oh man, I suck at life. I don't want to leave it there and then it just gets stronger and then it's bonded to the tape forever. Yay, we managed to take it off without a problem. This is a dope uh, print, swatchy. Looks like comic food there in the background. That's pretty awesome. Looks like it's signed too. Boo! All right. What do we got? What? So this looks like some sort of Green Lantern mystery comic. Okay. I hope this is not like a giant hit and then I opened it backwards. Very. I'm assuming this is the hit and I freaked up and opened this backwards. Wow, 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 wow. Tales of the Teen Titans, the Judas Contract. Teen Titans number 44. First appearance of uh, Nightwing. Is it Nightwing? Nightwing, Nightwing, yeah. When Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing. <laughs> I, I might be wrong, uh, whatever, but wow, wow, wow. It's. It's in good condition. Uh, it's not a 9.8 by any means. I see a couple of color breaking ticks there, but holy mackerel. Fudge, I messed up and opened this backwards. Uh, wow. Wow. All right, back, back to the regular, regularly scheduled program. Boom, the adventures of Superman in Andor. Uh, Superman or Superman and Ander, whatever it is, 547. Also starring The Atom. The Atom. I'm still like mind blown over this. Like, wow. Cool. Thank you. What do we got? DC Teen Titans number 24 When Titans Fall. Uh, okay, great condition. This one is also in great condition. So far, this looks to be a DC heavy box, which DC is not my thing. Boom. Thank you, good. DC, down for the count. Bloodhound number 10. Down for the count. I've never heard of the bloodline. Boom. Just keep it moving. What do we have? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty Deadly, The Rat. The Rat. This is an awesome artistic cover. Never heard of Pretty Deadly, The Rat. Uh, Green Land Core number 40, Blackest Night. This box is not for me. I'm going to be 100% honest. Besides that, it's, I'm not a DC guy. Boom. I don't know what this is. Uh, image number three? I don't want to get tape on it. Wow. I'm going to open it because I don't want to look like a dumbass during this entire thing. Oh, awesome wraparound cover. That is dope. MCMLXXV. Oh, so that is the title. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's the year it came out. Uh, okay. Well, I'm, I don't want you to see me struggling with me putting that back into a bag and board. So I am going to put it here gently, ever so gently. Thanks, we go. What do we got? Aquaman number 46, side by side with Wonder Woman. Aquaman. Here we go. Nice. 
Cyborg uh, number one, the DC Rebirth. I, I actually have this, but in a different cover. So I don't know if this is the variant or if I have the variant, but Cyborg number one. And then finally, the last book out of this $50 comic foo mystery box. Nice, G.I. Joe number three, Frontline. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Oh, I didn't know he did G.I. Joe back then. Uh, I know they went for Marvel and then IDW. I didn't know that image had them for a while. So all in all, I'm gonna be completely honest, this box is definitely not for me. Not that the books aren't good. I am not saying that whatsoever. I'm just not a DC guy. So I know that that Teen Titans is, 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 is a great book. Um, a lot of the stuff I don't know, uh, a lot of stuff I'm not even interested if I'm going to be honest with you, that doesn't mean that the value is not here. So, what's our total value? So that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen, as always, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell, share this video, tell your friends about me, and as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.